ideas of the boundaries of, of what would be uh, considered priorities and be able to put forward um, proposals and still have a home for it. So, yeah, I mean, to, to maybe sort of talk back through a few of the, the, the early steps uh, towards uh, this proposal. So, and, you know, I, I should also mention, if you haven't had a chance to have a look through the slides from Town Hall this week, or watch the uh, the, the broadcast, it's on, on uh, the IHK YouTube channel, and then the After Town Hall uh, session that we ran, I believe, is on Cat Catalyst Swarm's YouTube channel now, which is great. And then there's, you know, a sort of summary of the slides, and some certainly some of the key slides in Danny's um, Twitter feed. I've also pinned it to my to my Twitter feed. But um, the starting point for this is that the, the, you guys in the community, you you, you came to uh, the the table with some proposals to investigate and explore how to uh, think about uh, strategic priority setting, and um, uh, and also to look at the cost benefit analysis of of challenge setting in its current shape, and um, the outcomes of of two projects that were funded under Catalyst. Uh, the key takeaways really were that um, there, there's definitely room for improvement and um, that the current uh, approach for challenge based funding really leads to uh, a scattered set of solutions. And um, there, there's very little opportunity for those uh, solutions to. Uh, carry forward from one fund to the next and so you know that as a um, as an entry point for someone that's new to the ecosystem is really difficult to get on board with um, for a proposer it's really hard to think you know is my proposal um, fit for the challenges that are coming up in the next fund um, particularly if you're starting working on a proposal in fund nine without knowing what the voted for challenge are challenges are going to be uh, for fund 10 and um, and then also you know from the other perspective if we're trying to bring on hundreds of thousands and you know in time millions of people to participate in um, the catalyst ecosystem or in, in governance more generally and you know I do want to caveat this I don't want this to necessarily be a conversation centered on governance but if we want pe more people to participate in catalyst more broadly we need to make that uh, experience as simple as possible for them to get on board with and to understand and to level set and to, to anchor into an understanding of how um, you know Catalyst operates, how Catalyst is made up and what's relevant for them and what's not. Um, and then yeah the, the other proposal that uh, was funded was uh, a project that looked at the, as I said the cost benefit analysis and the real takeaways from that is that there's a really high costs associated to setting challenges and having the community write proposals uh, whereby you know there could be multiple proposals submitted in the funding round which are you know um, for all intents and purposes almost identical and you know if only those people had collaborated together they could save maybe a lot of time and efforts in in, in putting together a scope of a proposal um, and then, you know, on the on the other side, once those proposals are all submitted, there's a quite a high cost for uh, the, the, the reviewers in, in Catalyst. So you guys in the community um, to, to go through all those proposals and then try to determine, you know, which ones are better than others. And, you know, there's a cost to the Treasury and also to, in terms of time and effort spent doing this. So if we sort of take that as a bit of a backdrop, then, you know, thinking about how do we simplify things, create sort of continuity and um, and produce a more efficient set of processes that allow, you know, users, both new and veterans or, or, or those that are already participating to, to sort of anchor around um, some common understanding as to, to, to what really are the priorities that seem to be most important today. Um, and so, yeah, we, we looked at 
how do we simplify this, first of all? And um, the, the proposal has been made that we, we introduce this idea of categories, which would be um, a, a very limited number of, uh, of, of buckets, if you like. And we're proposing that there's four key buckets so far. So this would be products and integrations, community outreach and impact, and then Cardano infrastructure. And so broadly speaking, this is, you know, products and integrations is all about building on Cardano, building dApps, building use cases, building applications, building, um, you know, potential product services, and, um, and maybe some that have business models, some that don't, maybe a more open source. Um, and, and this would be a place for, for, for those builders of products to be able to put forward their, their, their great ideas. Um, the, the community outreach and impact uh, category, otherwise, you know, known as sort of civics and expansion is all about, yeah, th these ideas of sort of citizenship and community building and <coughs> ecosystem growth that are not necessarily uh, really wedded to technical solutions. So these could be, you know, forming alliances, uh, creating projects that, you know, go out and do this sort of stakeholder engagement and um, analysis and, and and almost like business development to some extent, or, or certainly um, ecosystem development, setting up marketing activities and uh, activations and events, or, um, you know, content creation, uh, anything to do with, uh, you know, civics, expansion, marketing, uh, and outreach to, to help grow our community, both within Catalyst, but much broader within the, the, the Cardano ecosystem. And, you know, I will also argue that that, that could um, spill over into, you know, this type of cross chain and, um, and, and community bridging type of activities. We certainly saw that, you know, with, with the, uh, the, the Catalyst Natives pilots um, from a few funds ago, that there was an appetite from other communities to come and participate into Catalyst. But again, if you're then met with, you know, and faced with 25 different challenges, uh, to have to wade through and think about, it makes it quite difficult and a challenging set of um, initial first steps to take. Um, so that, that's this idea around this kind of community uh, uh, category. And then the, the final one, Cardano infrastructure, certainly within the, the three main um, buckets, it is all centered around, um, you know, how do we uh, create conditions which allow for projects to be funded under Catalyst that support the growth and the evolution of the the, the core platform, and so you know there, there was some discussion in the uh, in, in the town hall uh, session or the after town hall session around uh, you know what 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 would this also include? What would it not include? Was it is it libraries? Is it these sorts of new uh, language capabilities where where there are smart contracts being built in different languages or you know. Um, uh, APIs and SDKs that enable you know people to build um, you know tooling for Cardano um, on Cardano using particular languages uh, and whatnot. Um, and, and you know I, I think it's worth sort of calling out that in, in time to come, once Voltaire's um, in in a good shape and it's been implemented, that maybe some of this idea around Cardano infrastructure um, may move. And um, you know it's, it's obviously up for discussion and de and debate. Um, but certainly, you know, we, we need to be conscious that there are core maintainers and core developers and, you know, teams of people uh, both inside in, in IO and, and others outside that are contributing to the development of the platform. And um, if, if that if the decision on proposals is only um, catering for, for, for those people that are participating in, in Catalyst, well, the, the, the issue there is that there could be a real significant dependency placed on uh, and, and possibly even issues in, in funding those proposals and seeing those those proposals get executed and come to light. But we need to start somewhere. And, um, you know, I think that there's there's a good argument to be made why there is a real value in having this Cardano infrastructure building for Cardano um, category involved in Catalyst. Um, certainly in the interim period, whilst there isn't a... Uh, uh, an implementation of Voltaire um, where, where it can be migrated to. And so those are the three main categories. And then, you know, the, the other one is 
the open category. So we're calling it Catalyst Open, uh, otherwise known as miscellaneous. And this seems to have been a, a, a one of those challenges that has persisted across different funds. And so it would be great to, to see, you know, that legacy uh, live on where, you know, you've got uh, square pegs trying to fit in a round hole um, and maybe they don't naturally fit into one of the other challenges or in this instance categories. And we want to be able to provide people with um, some, some confidence that their proposals can still be considered in, you know, as, as part of the, the, the objectives and priorities. Because maybe we as a community just don't know uh, what's coming on the horizon. And, and maybe there's some bright sparks out there that have got some really creative and innovative ideas. And if only they had um, a place and a home for their, their proposals to live, that, that could give them um, you know, the, the initial resources that they need to demonstrate um, that, that this is a priority and an emerging one and something that over time we'll be able to build a bit of a picture about. So that's the sort of general concept here around moving to a, a categories model. And, um, you know, there comes with it a lot of other benefits as well, right? Like there becomes, you know, a, a common data structure or a much more simplified data structure where um, we can we can start doing interesting uh, and more, more interesting things with metadata and, and tagging and um, being able to use data for analysis purposes when it comes to deciding on what are the priorities, where are the, the, the where should the main focus of these categories um, lie? Or, you know, to, to some extent, what, what budgets need to be weighted towards um, different categories uh, and priorities, right? Like if, if all of a sudden we knew and could see over a, a period of a, a, a couple of funds at least, um, that there was, you know, an awful lot of effort going into products and, and, and dApps and integrations, but really not a lot around the, the community and marketing, then maybe the next fund, we as a community can decide that, more of a budget can be weighted towards the uh, the underserved category, right? Um, and then, you know, again, another benefit comes from this idea of um, how we go about reviewing these priorities. And, you know, maybe rather than uh, you having to, to pick which challenge you're going to align with and, and review uh, potential proposals and give opinions on, on projects where you don't necessarily have a lot of interest or understanding of the, the general objectives, this idea of, of, of categories and maybe the subcategories that emerge from them allows people to, to, to really focus their efforts and time on um, on areas of focus that they, they're interested in. Um, so th that's, you know, our, our whistle stop tour of what we, we talked about on Wednesday um, at Town Hall and the, the breakout session. I want to pause there and um, just invite you guys to, to to, to, to come to the, the mic and, uh, and take the stage and tell us what you think. Tell us how, how you sort of see this and, and where you see the opportunities um, to, to sort of iterate and evolve this proposal. Awesome. Thank you, Chris, for setting us up. Um, if you are just joining in and you're just trying to figure out where you dropped into the conversation, you may have missed the initial part. Um, it's something we talked and introduced during the town hall on Wednesday during the Project Catalyst weekly broadcast. If you would like to catch up on the main crux of the topic, um, there are actually a couple of the um, tweets pinned on top of this space, uh, specifically the second one talks about the part two that is today's topics and namely challenge setting. So if you run through a couple of those tweets, it should give you a really good rundown of like where the topic of the conversation today is and then maybe help you frame what the questions you might have and, and maybe spark some creative juices. If you also just joined in and you enjoyed listening in, um, I was taught last week by our good friend uh, Nudes from, uh, from the Cardano Twitter space that you can actually retweet the space to get more people in so we can get more perspectives and, and people excited and flowing those um, flowing those ideas in. So if you can do that, we'd highly appreciate it. And other than that, as Chris suggested, um, we have no specific agenda other than to come and listen to what your perspectives are. So hopefully for the next uh, half an hour or so, at least, uh, we're going to be mostly listening and seeing where your perspectives are coming, converging, what different people's perspectives are, most specifically. And uh, that should be the it. So if you would like to come up and chat, just request a speaker. 
and then just respect the hand and we're gonna try to make our way around keep the order in place and let's spark some uh, conversations and archangel bob i know you've been patient thank you for your hand and i think i'm gonna yield it to you sir and why don't you kick us off my my patience is radically exaggerated but i appreciate everything that chris said i haven't been impatient about this um i you know i as danny as you and chris know i could probably talk about each of these topics and i really don't have a lot of time um but i i you know i have thoughts about all this is uh, i really feel like when it comes to proposals and and assessments that that you know like one key thing that you brought up chris about about proposals you know multiple proposals coming in <clears throat> with very similar to goals and methodology you know this is that point where <clears throat> you know over over the since the time that we've had challenge teams there we we didn't really install in the proposing part of being a proposer this idea that they really need if not must interact with the challenge teams you know like over and over and over from challenge team people when they talk about their experience and being on a challenge team they don't get any comeback people don't respond to them you know people who've made proposals and i really think that needs to be addressed and kind of you know forced you know because because for exactly the same reasons that you laid out there and that we don't need to see five proposals wanting to do the same thing in different ways or similar ways you know like that we could collaborate more we want to we want to encourage collaboration and i and i think if somebody comes in with a proposal similar to somebody else's proposal they really got to have some argumentation about what differentiates them from other people and if not then i don't know you know like i think there there needs to be a winning winnowing out of you know the massive proposals that catalyst receives on the one side that's great on the other side it's like too much information you know it creates a lot of problems as you go through the process and that gets to the second part of, you know, assessments, right? Because I consider challenge teams to be assessors on a particular level, even if it's not been overtly expressed. And I, and I, I believe that it needs to be overtly expressed, that this is part of the screening process. When you, when you meet the challenge team as a new proposer, you know, you're, 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 you're going through a winnowing out process to actually get get to be up for a vote and you know when it comes to the actual hard assessments that people would read before they voted and some you know I, I think some we, assessors really love some proposals we want and some assessors really don't and i think pro you know a pro and, and a con you know, like as a voter really is really helpful some proposal if they were allowed to read that but because of this, assessors really love some proposals. This need to process as much as possible. Really don't. It always and I think that as you know, a pro and a catalyst con, evolved, as a voter, this really process helped. became much more. If they were allowed to read that, and so because of, of this, filling out a template, this need to process and the incentivization process, scheme for assessors that kind of encouraged great evolved. assessments. And the that's assessment process you know, we've talked about that quite a lot. How, how an that act of that, that is there. filling out a template um, and the incentivization scheme for I think, assessors. I think with the, the challenges themselves, assessments. And I'd really like some you know, some tweaking done. About that quite a lot. How, how personally counterproductive that with how we been. how we name the, the um, challenges. Um, I think I, I think with the I have an aversion to outreach. You know, I really like some, just, some tweaking for done. me. It's just personally. It's not just with how we how we name right? it. You know, like I, I've been in the challenges. Two short conversations um, I, with other people. I have an aversion. We're also concerned about education. You know, it's just, it's just, 
Um, for me, not just education for people within the catalyst community. It's not just outreach. But for people right? you know, like on the retail again, side or just two short conversations with other people, people who don't know who about blockchain, who don't education. know about the tech, who don't know about the And not just Why education even? for people within the catalyst thing. community, but for well, people on the retail side or just... There's a lot of basic background people. knowledge that you've got to have don't just know to invest in crypto. You don't know about the tech. We let alone get involved in, in, in a blockchain community like Cardano's. And you know, there's, we want to bring in hundreds of millions of people of basic into background this thing. Knowledge that you've got to have and we need to, in, crypto. in my view, let we need to develop people who can articulate that like out in the world. And, and that's just pure education. We want to bring in hundreds and of millions so of to people me, into this thing. Education should be we need to, kind of named a in named my view, thing. We when it comes to, to our challenges, you can articulate that <clears throat> out in the world. What else? And you said so much, Chris. Education. Well, I'll tell you what, let, let me sort of address the education point. I mean, I, I totally agree with you. Know, it's uh, kind of named. It's, a name thing. Yeah, and it, I think it comes, comes down to semantics, challenge. really. Like, and that's <clears> like, in this idea of categories. What else? You said so much, Chris. The categories well, are broad enough to be able to encompass totally you know, pursuits such as education. It's... Yeah, and it, um, it comes down to some and education most different things that's why for people like it could be uh, you know creating courseware it could just be creating content it can be great broad enough infographics it could be able to compass you know uh, any, any number of sorts of assets right? or, or you know and, delivering uh, events and activities you know, education means different things all this kind of stuff that be, would help to uh, you know create bring people's awareness to content to blockchain and all kind of specifically can be created more to to the number of right so yeah i you know, generally agree on that point that uh, yeah education is a massive kind of part would help of this uh, as part of the, the civics the civic to, duties of our community to be able to bring the, the next hundred thousand or a million to, people on to, board to for sure right so yeah i, I you know, just preface that with the fact maybe this is worth underlining the fact that one of the key premises of this transition because essentially these, these categories are not going to be implemented in the upcoming fund 10. Um, I think it's the ambition for the transition. You know, just preface that with the fact maybe this is worth underlining the fact that one of the key premises of this transition because essentially this these so categories are not going to be implemented in the upcoming fund 10. Um, I think it should be envisioned for the transition. <laughs> yep. Can you hear me? Uh, the usual down at Twitter spaces, right? Um, so, yes, yeah, so I'm just prefacing with the fact that it will be, oh, it is no. important also to keep in mind and, and important. Oh, can you hear me? I hear Is that working? Yeah. Chris, okay. it's okay. <laughs> Breathe. Um, Don't panic. Uh, Twitter spaces. Uh, right. Drop. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm just prefacing. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm messaging. It just needs to. Also, to keep um, in mind and and important. Uh, awesome. Yeah, I was just going to build upon that uh, and get right to Emmanuel that most Chris, of the things okay. that uh, are coming, especially from the <laughs> realm of the gonna, challenge uh, setting, drop the changes. <laughs> yeah, 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 from yeah, from Fund Eleven. So yeah. one of the key aspects of actually yeah, what will awesome. be happening yeah, throughout Fund Ten that, uh, is actually right, figuring out what those finer details are going to be, right? And there will be a series of workshops we want to do collectively. Uh, and this is exactly where the notes, as you mentioned, so are getting one of the key is, aspects of actually you know, like, is this the right language? Are we using actually the right language? Actually, figuring out what those category um, are going to what be. What does that actually um, encompass? And there will be a series um, of workshops. Especially when we start also talking about what the subcategories are exactly like. The so I'm really, really excited about the fact that um, this is sort of like an opening stage right for what will be a series of long workshops throughout the front end. So that by the time we get to the front end, we have a really good collective understanding of like, like how the challenges really are going excited. to be rolled out but uh, most importantly uh, that like there is a shared understanding in terms of what will hey, be a serious is this what we really wanted and is this the right way and this is right so shape by the time we get to do we understand the same uh, we have a really good language around what is being suggested so how the challenges uh, really, are going really to be rolled out but most importantly that there is a shared understanding in terms of Hey, how are you doing? Is this Thank you for coming up. Wanted, and is this the right hey, way? And is this yeah, right I, I know. Hi, everyone. Do we understand the same uh, language around what is being um, suggested? So, yeah, I'm glad I could make uh, it. Really, really I told you I had a, a workflow, so, so I just saw out of that workflow. And Emmanuel, like exactly that's how are you doing? Thank so, you for coming up. Uh, that's fine, but hope hey, everyone's been awesome. Yeah, um, I mean, folks find a lot of work. Uh, Archangel shared the yeah, history yeah, around challenge teams. It was a. Uh, I, I really, I really experienced a lot of that struggle. Like, exactly so maybe it's because I come from a place with a lot of structure and a lot of like.
to be put in place, things need to work in a certain way, because that's how we always did it, and you know, the corporate system and everything. Um, so coming in as a challenge team leader and realizing how pretty much we had no you know, all we have to do is pretty much jump on calls and check that some people are humans and that was it. Um, we weren't able to see the challenge category in any way. It was very um, disheartening. And, well, we've had our conversations about that, but essentially a lot of what our cases are on challenge teams. Um, I, I, I felt and I still feel that the structure needs to exist where the challenge teams are kind of like, the, the second to last was very, um, defense. You have well, the proposal assessors who would do everything that needs to be done to at least filter enough people. Um, but then when people do slip through the cracks, then you have these challenge team, um, these challenge team members who can then, you know, perform the utmost due diligence. And then we now do everything what may not be done practical or reasonable and essentially put up to And then who is there to check them why they the second to the second to last, you know, defense because that's what you have um, the circle for. So the circle was ideally would have served as this kind of um, backstop, this kind of oversight entity that would, you know, overlook the assessors, would overlook the second uh, challenge teams and so on and so forth. And so the challenge team couldn't be adversarial or malicious in any way. Um, and so that was like the vision I had in mind, but then the reality was pretty much very different. And uh, and that's one reason why I never really changed after the circle stuff and everything as well, because I, the, the, there's this taste for openness and quote-unquote um, decentralization so in calculus, which people are like, yeah, it's what we want, different. but then when you look at the weeds of things um, to get that done, you need, you need you need at least a sense of level federation and then how the, the decisions are causing to and how um, control and execution is done. Um, so I, I, feel, I feel like hopefully when we get to point 11, we can really revamp who is who, what's what, and what team they have to actually get work done. Um, and speaking of point 11, I, I do love the concept of categories. It does, um, or category buckets, but it does help we can narrow our view down to what we're trying to achieve. But I still see the need of challenge teams within those categories, and as you said, subcategories. So that these can be problem statements, problem points of like, okay, this is product and Integration. But we notice that a lot of people use stuff like teams, a lot of people use stuff like Notion, a lot of people use stuff like Slack. How can we align these tools better with Cardano? And then you have a problem from that. People can build things from there. So when people say product and integration, people don't just wake up from wherever they are and say, oh, hey, I'll make a quick box. I'm just going to try to build something that. Nobody really needs or that kind of thing. Um, so I think we, we have a unique opportunity to really uh, be very calculated about how we approach the, the category system and ultimately the subcategory system. Um, and yeah, no, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just all around excited for the changes in Fund 11. Um, yeah, and that's... Uh, that's um, really me from them. For anything else, I think Chris and Daniel, I, I already give you folks enough hell in your DMs, and I, 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 I make your life hell in the DMs, so um, no need to bring all of that stuff back up, yeah. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, and that's... That's really me from the point. It's all good, Emmanuel. Listen, it's, it's nice to have people that are, uh, are actively you know, pushing us and trying to make sure that everything's being kept uh, above board and, you know, where there's uh, certain clarifications that are required that, it's all good, that you, you know that there's somewhere to, have to go to and to find out uh, who, who's doing what, why, and when. And trying to make sure that everything's being kept uh, above board and, you know, where there's uh, certain clarifications that are required. But awesome. Thank you, Manuel, for the insights. Feel free to stay up on the stage. Um, I'll just uh, refresh the room. If you are joining in um, at any point in time and you're just wondering where you are and what's happening, we are talking about the topics we presented during the latest Project awesome. Catalyst Thank you, Town Hall. For the um, if you would like to catch up, we had a little bit of introduction in the first part of the Twitter space today. If you would like to catch up, there is a couple of big tweets on top of this space that should give you a really good sense of really quickly catching up of like what is the nature of the topic and like what is the um, conversation like all about so if you want to do that i highly encourage you to check it out and it's just a couple of tweets that basically will set the stage for you um, if you've joined in and you've been listening in and there's something that tickled your imagination you have a thought that you would like to share with uh, everybody in the room feel free to request the speaker um there is uh no specific order like if you're just gonna come up and respect the 
uh, and we're going to go uh, one by one as those hands are coming up. So if you would like to, feel free to do so. We would love to hear from you. We spoke quite at length in the beginning part. It should be a conversation. We always love to talk uh, with people in the community. So if you are also, if you want to get more people in, uh, supposedly you can also retweet the space and maybe we can get more folks in to get more creative juices flowing. Thank you. Your hand is up. So what's on your mind? Conversation. We always love to talk uh, with people in the community. I'm so, so hoping if that everyone also, is retweeting the space in, uh, um, and so getting more people in and adding some questions um, or thoughts in the comments for things that we don't uh, have a chance to come up, or if um, if they don't want to to come up and say anything, leave I'm questions there. Let's build this feedback loop. The space. Uh, um, I think that's a huge thing. In, that, and uh, adding we, some questions. Kinda, I feel like we've in the struggled with things um, that we don't uh, have a chance for quite a while. Uh, is a, a, a solid um, continuous anything. feedback loop where everyone is, is aware of, of what's going on and Manuel uh, brought up a, a great point that, uh, we've uh, not really shared like resources but with, um, people using common resources and how do we share those and a, Mike a, my a man um, must have figured out that you have to be on the phone is, to join a, a Twitter space. So well, before I defer that and ask him how he's doing uh, and tell him how great it is to hear his voice, if I understand correctly, and how do we we're looking at changing the man review must have phase. Out that you have to be on the and phone by that, are you referring to the quality space. assurance, so the quality assessment, that phase, and is the challenges as they are, plus these categories and catalysts open review phase something that's happening in fund that, 10 are you referring to the quality or is it the quality uh, fund 11 um, and I'm, I'm and be frank with you guys the challenges um, as they I don't want to wait plus these like, i don't think we can the challenges the as they are open. are not producing something anything um, in they're not auditable we haven't audited a challenge in my opinion 11, not the way that i'd like to see it and with that frank with you guys. i was just going to uh, switch it over to mike i don't want to wait i don't think say that my questions the were rhetorical, as they are unless you want to address them producing anything um they're not all yeah, no, so we haven't yeah, the proposal challenge in my opinion. The is that not the way that i like to see it and with that i'm just going to switch it over to mike and um so but then, the to, you know, all being well introduced, the Catalyst Open Challenge, yeah, 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 um, yeah, really is yeah, a learning point to, you know, make sure that, that there isn't necessarily this imbalance in front 10 that leans really significantly um, into the you know, the quality and assessment of the challenge. Um, challenge. Um, the well, the well, the well, it's all just purely technical challenges. Um, and really, as a learning point, um, point um, which is what the Catalyst Open Challenge is really about. It's about the technical challenges which is what, what the, the current uh, set of challenges from Bunt 10 looks like, um, and which is, you know, approved and voted really for by you guys in the community. The, so what, obviously the majority of this change come in um, in Bunt 10 in terms, in terms of the shift um, categories, which is but we can certainly do some, uh, some, um, challenges for Bunt 10 some foundational work in Bunt 10 um, to kind of get know, there. And and the, the, the real foundational work is, so what, you know, we want to encourage uh, uh, these conditions of collaboration in terms of the shift to and you know arguably uh, we can speak more some, about um, you know competition and trying to, to kind of get, get the challenge proposal so voted real for foundational work which is, then allocates you know, we, a certain we want you know, to budget to it based uh, on what was proposed of collaboration and, uh, and, and you know arguably it makes for a bit of a divisive about, uh, you know, set of conditions but people are campaigning for their own causes if we if we removed all that and you know there's just broad thematic buckets which we as a community have kind of converged on then you know there's there's no need for that that uh that competition at that level so uh, i want to pause there because obviously mike's here glad that. to have mike here also um, you know, there's just uh, maybe there's other people, people that want to, to come to stage kind of and converged on. say hi then you know there's there's no need wow, to well, what's going on everybody competition at that level so i figured i had to come on the mic with uh with figures are calling out where your first choice goes here um, um yeah i just wanted to come and share a little bit it's so great to be here with everybody um and how you doing Mike? Yeah, hey, hey what's going on everybody really really great things that i think we absolutely need to figure i had to come on the mic with uh with phase are calling out my very first twitter space here um yeah i just wanted to come and, and and share a little bit it's great to be here with everybody um and I, I think Q, you're, you're bringing up really, really great things that I think we absolutely need to grapple with. Really I'm going to bring it back to the challenge to catalyst and having the categories to like the, the value like offboarding and just in terms of the areas of focus of the day. That that's where I kind of was able to, to find a space and a home within catalyst and someone that came 
then you know, that started to emerge around and really came, came out through new categories and having the categories like uh, the value onboarding and distributed decision making back in the day. Really that's what I kind of was able to so you know, find a space and a home with the same catalyst. Um, and you know, the, the community that started to emerge around the specific items, right? If you think back to kind of the early days of the swarm, the retrospectives, they, they really grew out of those the growing our own experts really the challenges. I think this really sets the stage for something like that. Over time. Um, right. And, and obviously, we've we seen lots of communities, communities emerge within, within, within the you know, think about, you know, think about like the regional the the challenges you know, for climate. Um, you know, but then, you know, like, obviously, we have the criticism of kind of that, that disruption that challenge setting can bring. And so, just really excited to have these permanent homes and let those communities emerge. Um, I also wanted to say a little bit to, to, to Bobo's comment about the challenges. challenges. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm totally with you. I think we, we want to see these things that evolve individually. And something that I'm excited about is also seeing what kind of new categories we see emerge in the future. I also wanted to say a little bit to Like today, we have a challenge about the challenge of groups. But something you know, I like I'm, to imagine totally is what happens. I think we, we want to have kind of cross section of uh, all individually and something along the cross about the values of the vision. What kind of new category is kind of happening in our shared mission? I look at everybody right. in the audience like right today, now. We have folks from kind of Disco, from, from Auto, from Auto, from Auto, something I like to imagine. What happens if we start to have kind of a cross section of some people coming in, a line of categories starting to emerge on the vision for the future where, you know, a category might shared mission actually have people working on all these different things within the community rather around that shared vision. That's just something that you really, really excited. Thanks for right, the, the we can, possibilities there. We can actually I just want to come in and, and share that um, category is starting to emerge on communities where, you know, a category might um, actually have people working on all these different things within a community. My rallied around thing, that shared vision. Thank you. That's what you really, uh, really, really excited um, about the, thanks the for possibilities pointing there. out what I was I calling to come you know, in and, and share um, that. Um, I have to be have more patient and understand that not everyone has been on Twitter space and not everyone knows everything about blockchain or Cardano. My Thank you. I thought you uh, hung up. Um, thanks for pointing out what That's I was going on. Um, Thank you for voicing in. Um, we have a new. There we go. We got a heads up. Uh, we have Mercury is uh, coming up. Hopefully now we works. We got something technical difficulty. So thanks uh, for persevering and. Uh, Welcome on the stage. Uh, That's a good what, what's on your mind? How are you doing Thank today? Thank you for voicing that. Hi, um, hello, 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 hello there everyone. We, go. we got a hand up. Uh, uh, we have Mercurius uh, coming up. Hopefully now it works. We had some technical difficulties, so thanks uh, for I'm persevering. And, uh, sound is okay. Welcome on the stage. Uh, just, uh, what's on your mind? Some, How are you doing today? Hi, Daniel. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Um, um, hope you're all for, uh, great. For hosting, having a good time. Indulging my voice on a Friday. I'm, um, I'm at no, CIP I sound is 1694. Okay. Um, and uh, I love and what you are doing you. with the categories. And I hope you're um, all great. Having a good time. Not only because it's, it's on changed Friday, and it makes um, things a bit more simpler, which also has its uh, shortcomings, um, obviously. And, uh, um, but I love what you are it doing with the also categories. makes it possible, um, I think, at least to uh, ponder and deliberate and about how we can a bit more simpler, make which uh, or how we can shortcomings, intake collaboration um, into into this framework. Is, for example, um, I think proposals that to, um, collaborate with uh, other proposals from different make, challenges uh, how we can uh, could get some. Collaboration into. I don't want to call this a, a special For treatment, example, um, but uh, proposals that. I think you know with, you know what I mean. That's not um, special treatment, but uh, different challenges. Something like a like a some, exposure um, boost. Um, maybe it, uh, uh, along this lines that they but, are being uh, rewarded for um, actually you know, you know creating I mean, uh, but, connections um, within other like, uh, like challenge uh, teams. And then on the uh, other hand, there is maybe, um, uh, along this it will probably be being rewarded not as big um, of an issue, but um, creating, um, last funds connections we always had uh, other, uh, many teams. proposals or some proposals end, even changing a bit of the content and then proposing it to different be categories not so um, issue, but, um, we have to be mindful we always had, about this um, many uh, and how we proposals or some proposals i don't know if there's going to be challenge teams but when they're going to be challenge teams categories. that they so, uh, can um, somehow that they have a process to, have to, be to look at the proposal to see 
Okay, uh, where many, are commonalities, where are um, uh, so much commonalities that they should uh, talk about the collaboration, um, and I think also the tagging system is, um, is a good starting point there. As I continue talking, there's so much going on. I, I hear what Pedro is saying, and I feel you that we can't wait anymore. At the same time, um, um, it's a good we shouldn't rush it, I guess. Uh, As I continue talking, there's so yeah, it's enough to do. I don't know what's on. the, what's the game plan, what's the timeline, are there any other constraints? Wait. I think this is anymore. what we need to talk time, about before we can um, uh, go into the weeds, we shouldn't I would say. It, I guess. No, everybody, go in the weeds. Smoke your weed. Yeah, it's Get really high and we'll figure this out. Game plan, what's the timeline? Are there any other constraints? I think this is no, what honestly, we need to talk this about is, this before is, uh, we can it's so much uh, and go into the weeds. We have the chance to... No, everybody, go yeah. in the weeds. Smoke your weed. <laughs> Bring a part. Really high. We'll figure this change out. And, and actually have some impact no, on honestly, the whole of Catalyst. The, uh, it's so, so much and yeah, we, let's, let's we have um, to... take this seriously and... Um, yeah, I don't know. We have to bring upon change. I, I would like to see have some impact that there will be the um, on catalyst. So maybe yeah, weekly, let's, let's, maybe um, bi monthly seriously and um, um, meetings. They can be know, asynchronous, to, but just to uh, gather. I, I would like to see that there will be um, maybe weekly, maybe bi monthly. Um, Meetings that can be asynchronous, also how but just to uh, and gather and work together on what like we need to right. do, and um, yeah, just treat it a bit like a like a, a community project. Um, and yeah, I'm very much agree with that. And uh, yeah, the, the idea of being able to just group, on, speak on together on a regular basis, right? um, and you know, invite people. Or, or make it open to people to, to feel like it's it's inclusive and that yeah, they're invited to come and play a role in and um, um yeah you know voicing their opinions and to people together perspectives on basis where the priorities um, really you know, lie people um it's it's so important it's certainly not going to be done in, in like it's, it's not going to be a one and done thing right like they're invited um it's going to need iterations it's going to need us to get into a rhythm um of coming together and discussing this particular topic as to what other priorities it's, it's so important. and, and how do we go about in, it's not um, agreeing on right. what can be um, it's going to need uh, the, the focus of these categories, the fund 11, the fund 12, the, you know, um, the, the uh, next five months, together and ten discussing months, this particular and topic like, as to for sure. what other priorities and, and, and how do we go about um, agreeing on what can Thanks, Chris. Be, um, uh, so let's check out the order of the hands. The I 11, think it may be Timovar, if I didn't screw up the order. Is that so? How are you doing? Uh, very good, very good. Thank you very much. Awesome. Uh, no, no, uh, I, I think you're right about the order as well. Thanks, Chris. So, uh, um, we count so the order. Check out so the speak. order of the hands. I now, think maybe um, two of I have, if I didn't screw up the order. Like so you how are you doing? Doing? Very good, very totally good. Totally off topic of the room or anything. Awesome. No, no, uh, uh, I don't think you're right about the order. Uh, uh, so, I have uh, been come to more or less voluntarily. Uh, now, um, I can almost say that uh, have, uh, some people that basically like you, gave me a lot of compliments totally just to do this job, and it's a pro bono job. Please interrupt me at it's about uh, um, issuing 200,000 NFTs more or less uh, for uh, a three say that, uh, times three some people plot basically land in gave South me a lot Africa, of compliments just to do this job. Uh, and it's people become custodians for that, and thereby issuing actually funding the preservation of uh, that area and the uh, biodiversity and i was just plot i was thinking that maybe South cardano Africa. could be one of the ways uh, to do it obviously there are other solutions but i'm sure you guys thereby, uh, yeah, well, <laughs> funding maybe an opinion the about that, of that area and if so and the uh, if you can give me some places just, where i should start I and then, by the way cardano another uh, criteria about this do it, if possible it should be a dynamic nft so somehow this nft also reflects the activities of that and about that how it develops it's really obviously and how it becomes better and by the way another uh, criteria about I'm this not gonna save the it's possible all, but this should be a dynamic nft so somehow this nft also reflects the actual piece of land that you bought and uh, how it develops and that's awesome naturally, thank you for coming up and having courage uh, to, to speak on the space better. um and, uh, well I do recognize my own limitations when it comes to understanding the NFTs, and it's something that I'm uh, definitely exploring myself. But I would invite anyone on the stage who would be able to 
um, to give a bit of an insight to do hard, like where to look for and how to go about it. I see manuals, maybe. I do recognize my own limitations when it comes to understanding the NFTs, and it's something that I'm definitely exploring myself. But I would invite anyone on the stage who will be able to. Um, um, give a bit of an insight to Tilvar, like where to look for, for and how to go about it. I see manuals maybe uh, also that Mike, off, could you help out? Yeah. Very free, is that so? Yeah, let me, um, um start Chris, um, would be to look out for the very yeah, so hang on, this is Chris and Danny, can I post something up top, do I have permission? Go for it, if you can drop it as a reply to this space, I think it would be popped up as a message, I think we can do that, uh, that would be really cool. Yeah, that's that's um, much better. Let me drop it. Uh, I'll share the uh, yeah, so hang on. link the uh, app and the uh, comments. I'll tag uh, the other guys. Or if you can drop it as a reply yeah. to this space, I think awesome. it will be Thank you so much. It is a bit slightly off topic that, today, uh, but yeah. I think it's a good opportunity yeah, to welcome and, and, and help out if we can. And I know maybe that inspired and I'm going to pick him up to the front of the line. I apologize for everyone having the hand yeah. up. Awesome. I Thank you so much. It is a bit slightly off topic today, but I think it's a good opportunity. Um, well, follow and, and understand and what he's up with. He might know, I know maybe that inspired him. I'm going well, so to pick him up to the front of the line. I apologize, apologize for topic. everyone having the hand up. Yeah, I know, uh, but I think I Congo know, might have something to NFTs. say. I uh, so recently right got in touch, um, follow him, understand what he's up with. He might know a bit what I want to think about NFTs as well. So if you want to chip in for a little while, then we can move back to the topic. Yeah, I know a thing or two about NFTs. So I heard. Welcome. I thought it was satire. So, I thought these were fake. The timing is interesting. So last night, uh, one of our got It's really bad looking. Like it, for, it's not good. Current and be honest, this is. I'm not being negative because I want to help. And, um, I'll be honest. I thought it was satire. That it is I thought these were fake. For us and to get more involved in catalyst to try and even maybe do our own. It's really bad looking. Like it. I see a lot of stuff on the timeline. I'm not being negative. I want to ask for money for themselves or whatever. But we don't. We don't need money. That it is worth. Us, it we're for talking us like to get more involved in the NFT ecosystem, even maybe um, do our own proposals. But since we, I've been I around a lot of more heavily on Cardano, I've been told numerous times that anything NFT related will just get downloaded by like us. We're talking about tools and infrastructure. Is it worth our time and effort, in your opinion, to get more involved? Like, what is your what is your I've been around more heavily on Cardano, I've been told numerous times. The short answer is yes. I've been around more heavily on Cardano, I've been told numerous times. The short answer is yes. Amal, did you want to jump in? Like a significant amount. Yeah, is it worth yeah, our time and effort in your opinion to get more involved? Maybe on like, what is your, so, what is your uh, feeling here? Um, this space was pre-set before um, that. The short answer is there, yes. Uh, by the um, other, Emmanuel, did you want to jump in? Yeah, go for it. Just to clarify, um, maybe on two fronts, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't align uh, those two uh, things. I'd say they just happen to happen. Um, but secondly, uh, someone who's brought out that pushed, um, um, a lot of NFT other, related um, conversations and proposals NFTs in the Catalyst space. Um, um, first thing, yeah, to align with uh, what Aaron said, yes, you should definitely take the time and effort to contribute. Then, if the people that I don't know about people heavily downloading the NFT proposals, I have had five. just on Fund 8 uh, NFT projects. I think it's worth a look at to see if I wanted uh, to chime in real quick because I know about that Twitter thread and I don't know the 
advanced funds, and this, even the fund after it that. It seemed one. to focus Perhaps just maybe on NFT fund projects were supported. NFT projects. Or, uh, I think it's worth a look at to see if support for NFT projects increased or decreased in previous funds, and even the fund after that. Perhaps maybe NFT projects were supported more more in previous funds, and that's why quality of fund aid maybe you saw a dip, a depression of support for NFT projects. Maybe that is also playing into yeah, and like I'm not gonna. Uh, I don't want to use a blanket or make a blanket statement here because there were some related ones, which but I don't know if overall, I buy, like, right? Like, of especially after seeing some of the quality of it, for lack of a better word. So, I think the maybe NFT that is also needs to do a better job. Like, there is this narrative um, on Cardano, and I don't mean that, like I'm saying that from my heart. Like I want this to improve, right? Like I, I will definitely get more involved where I can here. Especially after seeing some of the quality. I know there's a lot of people that think we're greedy or whatever it is, but like honestly, we want to we want to try to help to do a better job. Um, and you know, well, like, I don't mean, like, I'm saying to, that oh, I want this to improve. Sorry, I'll, I'll get back to you in a second. I, I will so definitely get more something and that might be interesting as well. Um, I, know there's a lot of I just want to make sure that if you want to speak, let's like, try to always bring, bring the hand up. It will help it easier to sort of like navigate the room just to make it a bit easy. I think we can definitely wear around the topic that's no problem. I just want to make sure that if you want to speak, let's try to always bring the hand up. It will help it easier to sort of like navigate the room. <laughs> just to make it a bit easy, um, I think we can definitely wear around the topic, that's uh, no problem. Um, more broadly to what you were just saying, I think it really comes down to the fact that whether we like it or not, whether it's such an incredibly it or not, busy space. It is the truth of the matter that there's lots of silos between different communities. And also within the Cardano ecosystem, there's so many different things and processes. Um, we often tend to talk about collection of community of communities. And whether we like it or not, whether we accept it or not, is this something that I can get? That there's a lot of silos between of different and communities, happens, and it does like really take a each other more great actively, and especially of making an to break out going into those spaces silos in order to actually bridge out. So not the understanding of like, oh, like what is this other group here, working on? But okay. is there something that I can get a like better understanding of? Over and that only a of time, you're sort of turning strangers like into familiar faces, and then actually making an effort to going into spaces where there's a lot of people So, so not I don't think there's any like like you know, more, you know, that there's but a bad intent between different people. It's just a lack of understanding, just simply not having that enough exposure to one another. And when you think about equality proposals, it's also, I think, directly I don't think there's any more you know, that there's a bad intent between different people. It's just a lack of understanding. Simply not having that enough um, exposure to one another. And when you think about the quality of writing, you know, it's better to have things of like what is it that you're actually trying to solve. Because there's more people participating within a certain segment, let's say the catalyst, you ultimately are trying to have the exact drive. So I think if more people are coming into space and writing better proposals and writing looking for better challenge statements, the things of like what is it that you're actually trying to solve. Because there's more people looking at those problems. And I think if the space is nascent, then naturally it doesn't and working to the drive. So I think if more people are coming come in this space and they're looking at each other, very often what happens in Canada is that somebody actually comes out from the angle of thinking about the same problem but from different angles and that actually causes you to start collaborating and working for the solution that you couldn't come up or deliver by yourself but you find like-minded people who actually come and help you and essentially you form coalition, you form partnerships and then you start building custom solutions that came out of that. So that's why basically the long wind you know, we're we're also at the of like the of get involved. Involved. Yes, absolutely. It helps media, it's to elevate the quality, the, 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 the quality of the project, the quality of collaboration, and really around most importantly, it really increases the understanding as such. Unfortunately, that's a lot of tendencies, and I know maybe you know, we're also at the whim of the algorithm go up this, because uh, I think you had some social media that it's very easy to share. Maybe the link is not that so, perception of what is really around us. I don't know what sort there is. Lido, let's go. You need a better co-host, Danny. I gotta tell you. Maybe Lido can go up because I think you had some uh, yes, good to say with so, regards so, to what you were sharing. Maybe really the link so itself was that so, and then you guys are gonna help me out. I screw this up. I don't know what the is there is. is that but Lido, let's go to you. You need a better uh, co-host. Dan, 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 Dan,
it's if we're talking about list, projects that have already been, being been funded, involved, uh, in those discussions then, and you know, there is the table, the, the, and, there's you know, a role to be played uh, for, for anybody in the community the that has an interest in it one in coming to check whether or not the you know, funded projects have done what they said they were going to do. Simple as that. I mean, we need to grow this pool of... Uh, what, what's at the moment called uh, challenge teams, but you know, community shifting community towards community reviewers and there's people to on this call that have been verifying proof of achievement, achievement milestones. I mean, we uh, need to grow you know, this, again, this pool. When, of, once there's maybe you know 50 uh, NFT projects that are active, teams, but, you know, we're going to need a whole bunch of people reviews, to make sure that those that projects have been doing what they say they were going to do and they you know, approving and verifying that those deliverables were met, promises were kept. And, um, and and then the, the next tranche of funding to, to, to reach the next goal, sure uh, milestone can be released. So there's there's a bunch of different roles for community to play. And actually, uh, um, the Catalyst team wants to be less involved in that, um, necessarily for decentralization and distribution, but also because there's way more of you guys than there are of us, frankly speaking, and um, we don't have the capacity in the team um, in its current size and shape to be able to do all of that work and actually it's more important but also because that there's the community more than there keeps are the community in check and you guys and, um, keep each other accountable rather than being all on us um, so yeah i just want to say that and chris yeah, how, do, how do we address the three hundred thousand usd that's been spent in the past two challenges for auditing and reviewing um how, how do we as a community keep each other accountable Rather factor that in the moving forward. So, yeah, I just want to say that. I'll... Keep that, keep that and, Chris, how, do, how do we address the yeah, um, I apologize. The US deal has been spent in the past two challenges. Uh, we're we're going we to address this, but uh, um, let's just wait. Light up, please. Go ahead. Yeah, just explicitly so on with the, 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 the Twitter threads and what people post links to show opinions and how we're going to have the source data so you can put that double click and see those numbers for yourself. You know, please go ahead. In Catalyst yeah, explicitly, uh, slang show, you know, we have a tool, the, the Catalyst Explorer, and I posted a link in the chat. And if you go to that tool, you will see that, what, like 290 proposals been approved that has to do with NFT in one way or another, almost uh, 13 million dollars has been awarded. That's that's not insignificant. That's what, that's more than twenty something percent of the total approved proposals. I think one of the funds had a challenge just for NFTs. Right? Thirteen million dollars. Look on, keep being a lookout, and we'll that's, tweet that's about this not too. Significant. That's that's so so too so Do you want to frame blog? Yeah. Proposals. Do you want to pin it up top as well, so people can find the link? I think you threw it in the chat, but maybe we could just put it up top, and it's easier. Yeah, back in at the top, Warframe, Blockchain Lab is also going to come up with another tool for some of this data. Do you want to pin it up top as well? So be on the lookout for that. I think you threw it in the chat. For anybody, not just the NFT, you know, is this the kind of proposal that Catalyst will fund? Yes, any proposal, but then being able to go into the data and see what the history has been. And then for more importantly, NFTs, what the feedback on these projects is, were, is what did the community have to say about fund. these proposals the and what was missing. Yes, and it also helps you with the, any kind, kind of gap analysis, right? See you know, if you go through the these 290 proposals, maybe you see a, a theme, what or you the see other theme that's missing, right? For you to then plug in. So just know these data sources and know how to double click into them. This is the blockchain, you know, verify the trust. So that's one resource for you, it's been to the top. But you see other theme that's missing, right? Thank you so much, Light. Really a big shout out so to the work you're doing, um, especially in the end of the and, and and presence like of actual project analysis website. I think it's been ever seen such an invaluable process. tool, and so that we're also likewise ourselves in a catalyst team rely on quite quite often. Thank you so much, Light. A big shout out to the work you're doing, especially in the end of the presence of actual project analysis website. I think it's been ever seen such an invaluable tool, and that we're also likewise ourselves in a catalyst. 
Yeah, it's been real life quite, um, quite often. So on the topic of NFTs, maybe let's close there um, the loop. I know, Coco, you had an NFT. Do you want to chime in any last thoughts before I run the next I could not highly recommend to everybody to check out the Lighting Nation. Yeah, it just seems like I feel foolish for not making contact with you guys. You can slice and dice project colors in a thousand different ways. I was just listening to the topic of NFTs, maybe let's close there the loop. I know, Coco, you had a hand up. Do you want to chime in any last thoughts before I run the next person? They just don't like NFTs. Yeah, it just seems like I feel foolish for not making contact with you guys. Judging by the proposals that I've seen, I mean, there is a little like, people and this is the much, feeling I of the community the based on what I hear. Going, it's a little out of time, touch, like, and it, I'm willing to help, and our team is willing to help any way we can in terms of bridging that gap and, and helping there. Judging it seems by like the there's a little bit of healing that needs to happen on there in the Cardano community. And this is the of the community based on what I hear. There's no nefarious actions by you guys or anything like that. I'm willing to help, and our team is willing to help any way we can in terms of bridging that gap and helping there. Let's make this better. like there's a little bit of healing that needs to happen on in the Cardano community. There's no like nefarious actions by you guys or anything like that. Let's solve it, right? Like, let's, uh, these, like, let's make it better. Those bubbles. Um, I'm trying to figure out yeah, who are good. the people, what are the conversations there. Um, I have somebody can, yesterday uh, on one of those Twitter threads suggested, uh, I think it was Tyler, that, or maybe you yourself, or I'm still getting to know the new names and faces. Again, it's even me, it's like pinching out those bubbles, I'm trying to figure out how has that been leveraging Project Catalyst? What are the opportunities and challenges? Because they offer a lot of misconceptions. I think it's not clear spaces on the topic. If it's the two sides of the table, I think there's like can talk about NFTs and things and like that, and sort of like explore how, for example, for the NFTs are different. But I think it's just that which we making a connection and sort of like making an effort. And, and, and yeah, as long as we can be conscious of the fact that the silence do exist, and maybe that context is not coming through accordingly, I think there's a lot we can collaboratively do. Hopefully, that's generally the spirit that we're trying to nurture in Project Catalyst. And you know, we're some days are better than others. Some days are more successful than others. But I think it's just that which we making a connection and sort of like making an effort. And as long as we can be conscious of the fact that the silence do exist, and maybe that context is not coming through accordingly, I think there's a lot we can collaborate and sharing your thoughts and giving an opportunity to grow from here. So thank you, Coco, for coming up and sharing your thoughts and giving an opportunity to grow from here. So thank you, Coco, for coming up and sharing your thoughts and giving an opportunity to grow from here. So thank you, Coco, for coming up and sharing your thoughts and giving an opportunity to grow from here. So thank you, Coco, for coming up and sharing your thoughts and giving an opportunity to grow from here. So thank you, Coco, for coming up and sharing your thoughts and giving an opportunity to grow from here. So thank you, Coco, for coming up and sharing your thoughts and giving an opportunity to grow from here. So thank you, Coco, for coming up and sharing your thoughts and giving an opportunity to grow from here. So thank you, Coco, for coming up and sharing your thoughts and giving an opportunity to grow from here. So thank you, Coco, for coming up and sharing your thoughts and giving an opportunity to grow from here. So thank you, Coco, for coming up and sharing your thoughts and giving an opportunity to grow from here. So thank you, Coco, for coming up and sharing your thoughts and giving an opportunity to grow from here. So thank you, Coco, for coming up and sharing your thoughts and giving an opportunity to grow from here. So thank you, Coco, for coming up and sharing your thoughts and giving an opportunity to grow from here. So thank you, Coco, for coming up and sharing your thoughts and giving an opportunity to grow from here. So thank you, Coco, for coming up and sharing your thoughts and giving an opportunity to grow from here. So thank you, Coco, for coming up and sharing your thoughts and giving an opportunity to grow from here. So thank you, Coco, for coming up and sharing your thoughts and giving an opportunity to grow from here. So thank you, Coco, for coming up and sharing your thoughts and giving an opportunity to grow from here. So thank you, Coco, for coming up and sharing your thoughts and giving an opportunity to grow from here. So thank you, Coco, for coming up and sharing your thoughts and giving an opportunity to grow from here. So thank you, Coco, for coming up and sharing your thoughts and giving an opportunity to grow from here. So thank you, Coco, for coming up and sharing your thoughts and giving an opportunity to grow from here. So thank you, Coco, for coming up and sharing your thoughts and giving an opportunity to grow from here. So thank you, Coco, for coming up and sharing your thoughts and giving an opportunity to grow from here. So thank you, Coco, for coming up and sharing your thoughts and giving an opportunity to grow from here. So thank you, Coco, for coming up and sharing your thoughts and giving an opportunity to grow from here. So thank you, Coco, for coming up and sharing your thoughts and giving an opportunity to grow from here. So thank you, Coco, for coming up and sharing your thoughts and giving an opportunity to grow from here. So thank you, Coco, for coming up and sharing your thoughts and giving an opportunity to grow from here. So thank you, Coco, for coming up and sharing your thoughts and giving an opportunity to grow from here. So thank you, Coco, for coming up and sharing your thoughts and giving an opportunity to grow from here. So thank you, Coco, for coming up and sharing your thoughts and giving an opportunity to grow from here. So thank you, Coco, for coming up and sharing your thoughts and giving an opportunity to grow from here. So it's interesting to um, look up from the planet. Which is obviously also uh, um, a polygon, but perhaps uh, the Cascade uh, Cardano is a interoperability chain. Uh, that shouldn't be a problem. And what they do is they so uh, uh, NFT rainforest. Uh, another thing is with obviously NFTs also is a meaningful NFTs. topic. Uh, and perhaps uh, there are a lot of. Uh, with their images, technology, it's easy uh, for you to uh, art, do it for uh, Africa land. Uh, what, uh, what, what came yeah, to mind? Uh, another thing with the, NFTs is the uh, meaningful the NFTs. Uh, I think we should move towards more meaningful uh, NFTs. Uh, images, which means uh, that if you buy a, art, a piece of land um, or a piece of rainforest, although that you also uh, it was it interesting with in some knowledge of, of, or some uh, application of the, the land, boom, so it becomes more meaningful. Uh, I think we should move towards uh, more meaningful the NFTs. One, it means that if you yes. buy a, a piece of land uh, or a piece of land, that you also link uh, it in with some knowledge like this, or some application uh, of the land, so it becomes some sort of uh, an interoperability um, and the last in one that uh, talks about a project, is not so much uh, the, perhaps the chain and the silos outside of chain, Catalyst, but uh, through topics like this, projects, uh, uh, and, and to and have some uh, sort of uh, an interoperability segment in Catalyst that talks about a project, not so awesome. much the, the chain and, and the silo um, groups of a chain, but I think we can link Thank together you for your with patience. projects. Thank you for your time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> for, that, sure, uh, for sure, for sure. Uh, no, I just, I just wanted to, to get up here and, and to share with you guys. as a funded proposal, or proposer Thank you, Niels, for coming uh, up and sharing. Fund a, uh, uh, I wanted to session. give my testimony. Of, Thank you for your patience. It wasn't I your time. <laughs> for sure, for
a proposer, and, and I came into the community, uh, and I learned about uh, Project Catalyst after, um, um, after it Harry wasn't came easy to be funded. To I came into the, the community the during Fund 6, August so, 2021, still, I knew it was a and, baby it, in the and I came into the community, and, or I and learned and, about and Project and Catalyst still after, after, um, after Harry came up with the idea to use the blockchain to auto-distribute music royalties. And so, but still, I knew I was a baby in the Cardano community. And, I can get and along so, with and, it, but I failed at Fund 6, and I failed at Fund 7. I think that for the these idea, projects that, that fail the not, first time and, or, and or fail a couple of times, so, you uh, need to be relentless and it, passionate. It, 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 it comes wanna, from the passion. You know, um, you know, know, entrepreneurship is ups and downs, and, I failed and so in seven. you need to persevere if you really believe in your project like I did. And every single fund I iterated, I got better. At Fund 6, I realized that I had not done enough work um, and introducing down. myself and to so the community. You need to um, so I did that. Really um, in Fund 7, project, I realized like that maybe I should share more. Fund, I learned I myself. I looked within six, instead of blamed the you know, system. I, I looked uh, within what can I work, do to um, introduce this to the proposal community. so that I can um, so get I the funding that, that I need um, fund that seven, to get started. I that and uh, it was a journey, man. I mean, we're talking about three months for each time and two times for six months. I failed and continued to go. And so I just wanted to give this testimony that, so that you can, the funding that it's I not an NFT, a, a bias, and or this or that, maybe, I don't know, I don't have the data, three months you know, Lido is good with the data, um, six months, uh, but I just feel uh, like if you really believe in the project that you're building, that you can do that all that it takes um, to get the votes that you need um, to get funded, I don't think it's a bias, anyway, that's it, I'll stop ranting. But I just feel like if you really believe in the project, oh, thanks so much, Sushin. I think that, that, uh, all that it takes, thank you for persevering um, as well. I think there's a lot of examples um, in the community funded. where I don't think it's about that, that's not even limited anyway, to five, six, six right and seven. <laughs> I am I'm pretty sure Chris remembers, and a lot of people in, in the audience, and even up here, like what the well, struggle so was much, even for the initial that, couple uh, of uh, these. Thank you for persevering think, as well. I think there's a lot of examples. was one such example where it was like three or four times, and then ever since they just kept on shining throughout the community. Community the and building the, audience, the African here, diaspora like, through the their community initiatives the and everything, and uh, they never looked um, back. And uh, you know, they uh, also had to go through the initial hurdles. I think collectively, when we start like thinking about, I think it's important to be uh, persistent and sort of like learning and sort of looking back of like what can I tweak in order to sort of like bring myself closer to the goal of like what I tried to achieve in Project Catalyst or in the community, nonetheless. But then it's equally so. I think the responsibility lies in collectively and also learning uh, about within about the builders like or whoever else puts together and helps put together the processes and, like and, uh, like what I try and, and, and support an infrastructure for the project in the so that we start in also intimately in looking at like so I think the, the are there additional things that we collectively can do also, uh, in the framework and in the structure of project catalysts that can minimize the distractions for the people that participate so that people like you and thousands of others can actually focus on each rate rather than like thinking about what broke for me, what didn't do what, uh, what I had to be focusing in order to, to fix the proposal and the things that are so, so that we can give you more so freedom and like you, unleash the resources for you to be focusing on the focus idea on rather than right what is it, like uh, what is the vehicle like underneath it that uh, helps to carry it forward. So what, uh, what I hopefully that's uh, also the reason that we can be looking forward So that we can give you more freedom and unleash the resources for you to be focusing on the idea. Rather than what is it, uh, what is the vehicle underneath yeah, it that uh, helps to carry it forward? So hopefully that's uh, that's also something for that uh, we can just be, like, be you looking you forward to. Chris, you want to add anything there? Uh, I mean, this is not, not, not the way. The, the, the mechanics of that big sort of work through, but yeah, you know, I think more like importantly, all about uh, resilience. You're got, looking for instant yeah. gratification. It's we've just we've like, got to acknowledge that there are you shouldn't be going through stuff. You know, thousands like, proposals um, on the ballot in, 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 in the last couple of months, the, the mechanics and of there's so only so many resources that you know, go around. You know, so there is going to be um, an always going to be a scenario where the majority of proposals are going to get funded. But that doesn't mean that the system's flawed. It just means that you know there's a lot of proposals and there's only a finite resource. There's only so many resources that can go around. So there is going to be a tricky balance. And yeah, if you look at how it's done traditionally, whether it's by VC or grants or accelerated programs or whatever, it just means the vast majority of proposals or ideas that get pitched don't make it through to the 
yeah, to receive it's, the investment. It's a tricky balance. To receive the funds. Yeah, if you, you receive look at how it's done the, 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 the slot on the program, like VC right? or grants or and, um, But that doesn't mean whatever. you should like, close up shops if your idea was bad. Or, or, or your idea wasn't was bad if you don't like it. It's just that maybe it's just a timing thing, right? Maybe there's something that can be learned from. Um, and from, um, from, but that doesn't mean uh, that quote, unquote, unquote, failure, your right? Your failing fast. fast. Or you and then being able to learn and iterate. That's the agile way. Like it. Like it. Just test and learn. Just a tiny if something thing, doesn't right? work, then Maybe, you know, you look at uh, what the reasons are for that, try to get opinions to why it didn't work, and then quote unquote failure and iterate. We do that within the CAP system, with the protocol, with the approaches, with technology. And I think that needs to also be something that is simple for the community. What reasons are and try to get opinions to why it didn't work. No testament to that, really. You've gone through that iterative cycle and have got it ultimately. So, yeah. I want to leave it there. To, to pause for something, something that is said for Thanks, Chris. And, 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 no, um, I don't know what's up with me. Maybe uh, it's just Friday news, but I keep that, losing yeah. the track of and hands. But I think it might be that. Pyra. It's is that it? I hope so. <laughs> and <it's provided. laughs> Go ahead. Okay. So, yeah, I and then Mercurius and then Lido. Please hold me accountable to Thanks, that Chris. flow. <laughs> no, I don't know what's up with me. Maybe it's just Friday news and news, but I keep losing the track of hands. But I think it might be Pyra. Is that it? We've only had 10 funds. I think they were all great. I think they were back to And then Mercurius and then Lido. I really Please think that, that a one floor. or two weeks <laughs> Go ahead, uh, cool down period between hey, them, um, it's okay. Uh, so a one or two week cool down period between them would have been better for people to what one settle into who got funded really think that and for iteration prior, uh, maybe even a little bit longer, maybe them. even a month, one okay. month. Uh, period. One or two weeks um, but I also wanted to say that them, uh, better for people Petals to had a lot of positive impact. Who got um, and, and, you know, it, even though prior, it felt like it was kind of random longer, of, month, uh, month, uh, you know, period. who gets paid, who doesn't, um, you know, like a, a, that, a Catalyst uh, Turbo. Uh, I still feel like like uh, we still got um, good funding from like DC Spark, you know, Gimbal Labs, even though it felt uh, like Session. It was kind of random, I mean, even though of, the uh, money you know, you know who was paid, who doesn't, you know, like uh, you know, uh, the, kind uh, of Catalyst Turbo, uh, like uh, shocked on doubt. Like like uh, those the people got who got funded brought DC Spark, Gimbal Labs to the uh, to the market, session. and a lot I mean, of that even was positive. The money, regardless you know, of the fact, if you think it was not capital efficient. But capital efficient uh, or not, like a lot of the out. projects that are running those, that got funded got are funded still going on. Projects and those that did get funded market. are, you that know, there's a, there's a lot of that did. Regardless um, of the I fact do, uh, that are still going not on. Capital efficient. Um, but capital fishing I not. do believe a lot of uh, that, that are running that got project catalyst still needs going on to and have those more get of a focus are, you know there's a there's a lot uh, in that tagging team. system um, I do when uh, creating going a uh, when, um, when, when, when creating I do proposals believe, uh, uh, like the general proposals project catalyst um, because uh, I was in like fun seven funny focus and uh, it was just uh, you know creating uh, sorry, uh, uh, Emmanuel. When, when, when uh, creating you know, proposals, uh, the great migration uh, like of the Ethereum, blah, 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 blah. Um, because, <laughs> you know, that, but that was, was the title like, for seven, a lot of that. Eight. And it was ambiguous and um, it was just, uh, uh, about which know, project start, uh, block Emmanuel. that you should be uh, in. You know, um, and that's why I felt like having a tagging system, like whatever that is, I don't know, you guys need developers for that. But whatever tagging system that is, that kind of is like, okay, so this is cross chain, boom. Project, Only the people who are uh, focused on cross chain. Um, and that's why I felt um, like having a tagging system. Uh, 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 po and, and proposal like, assessments is, will find it. Um, and then maybe that. there's a second so tag, like a uh, um, that is, that uh, kind of uh, like, okay, so this local is government, chain. blah, blah, blah. Boom. Boom. Only the people and who then, are so maybe uh, it's focused it's on itself, cross chain. And those who are looking um, for certain tags, they can vote uh, on. Uh, uh, or NFT project. And then maybe there's a second tag. That way, it's a little bit easier and more focused when creating proposals. Blah, blah, blah. It, you know, because like so it ends up being itself, like just a bunch of like who are general like I'm gonna game the system on. because I don't know where uh, I belong, and I'm just gonna shotgun um, a whole bunch of proposals into all these different categories. Focus so more of a focus. Proposals. Uh, which category, um, you know, like or maybe a tagging, being, like, and a, a cool-down period between like, each fund. I'm gonna game and then, system because you know, I don't like, know where I belong. And that's okay. And I, I don't think it needs to be back-to-back -back because it adds, that's a lot of anxiety for the proposals. So and also the unsurety of, like, of if you didn't get funded, what do you do next? Or, you know, so I, I, that's all I'm saying. Between each fund. 
And yeah, then, uh, those you know, are really great and points that's okay. to call out. I, I don't think it needs uh, to be back to back because it, there. that's a lot of anxiety so, for the proposal. Uh, and also the insecurity of was, like, if you didn't get funded, what do you do next? Or, <laughs> where you we know, were actually so trying I, to consider that's getting a new fund out every yeah, six uh, weeks. Really and that prompts an overlap. A couple of things there. So, more anecdotes. I've talked about this a few months ago, but there's a real phenomenon I've noticed funding. It's really getting a new fund out every six weeks. And that ways to overlap uh, so in different the, stages the, and phases the of the flood. Um, it was just never going to happen. Um, I've talked about this right? in, in, yeah, months ago, it's, but it's, it's a real phenomenon and it's too much. It just becomes overwhelming. Um, and it, and it's, it's it works both to ways, both from the proposal so side and like the, you know, uh, the, the, the operators of the um, uh, longer the, 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 the cool down period program, is, right? is really important. Um, um, it is, it it's too frequent and there's to too much, sure. it just becomes overwhelming um, and it's a And then, yeah, on the tagging front, engage. so I'd like to think that you know, yeah, uh, certainly a priority for slightly for us, uh, longer um, to, to make sure cool that period the data is, is really important sits, um, and it underpins a lot of is really sure. solid. Um, and that, you and know, then, it's yeah, made to be consumed front, listen, by our developers yeah, and uh, talking like for, LIDAR. For a lot of us. And, you know, more importantly, um, to, to I think make sure that, that you, the data the structure that sits that it and underpins catalyst is really you know, solid and that, that they, you know, they care it's about. able to be consumed so, yeah, really by our out. developers. And, uh, and then back up the stage real quick, could you make it to where I can connect my wallet? You know, the track that you're discussing, that it becomes easy for people to align with you know, causes and interest areas that they, they care about. So yeah, really good, great call out. And since I got the stage real quick, could you could you make it to where I could just connect my wallet and it is not a web two? I'm just kidding. not really no I'm, I mean it. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> it's coming. Yeah, but just to curb the expectations I think for fund ten, uh where we're trying to roll out the delegation feature, one of the major pre requirements to actually make that happen is to have a DAP connectivity, right? So that you just plug into it with your wallet and then you just play around in the system. So that's hopefully in its Wait, first version and iteration well, should be available in some time if the delegation is uh, uh, rolled out. Speed, and in fact, we're working so. with a number of community wallets, uh, be it, uh, you know, Eterno, uh, Nufi, uh, there is, uh, uh, you know, uh, Flamed and, and a couple of others as well. We're trying to figure out how can we actually bring that agnosticity to the system so that we can create a set of standards that uh, any provider can come in and build that one click solution. So if your wallet provider, if you have a favorite wallet provider and has an interface with uh, Catalyst yet, there's always a standing open invitation from any of the wallet teams in the ecosystem to help us integrate uh, the connectivity into Catalyst. So just FYI, uh, we, we love working with community wallets system is being built in agnostic way so that um, it's not meant for or locked into any single provider so the more the merrier so that we can uh, help diversify the access points into the catalyst and make it the, by default more resilient all right uh, enough of me uh, mercurius lido q and then emmanuel or emmanuel and q i don't know i'm losing it today mercurius you go ahead <laughs> you no you, uh, you got it all together then me. don't worry so good uh, okay good pop <laughs> Uh, uh, regarding rhythm and cadence, to back so um, a couple of months um, back when uh, Quasar and I had this thought experiment, uh, uh, what um, if um, also, uh, we could Bob, do Catalyst uh, regarding rhythm exactly how cadence. we wanted, and we so, um, wanted to start with the roadmap first, back and um, when, uh, uh, Quasar and I had this thought experiment, uh, what if um, space now, and um, I was thinking do something exactly along the lines wanted, of um, of like a wave, with the first, so that there's and, contraction um, and expansion a, in a in a like a regular to natural to flow. To the space now, and, and um, the contraction would be the, of, um, the time of where the wave, um, the focus so that contraction um, and expansion would be on in one a, in a, like a regular natural uh, flow. category, and um, and the, the expansion would phase would be when would the focus be would be extended and more categories would be added. Where, um, the upside of the this is that everyone in the Cardano uh, uh, ecosystem would, would come together and try to so come up with projects that um, and uh, the expansion would 
face would be like that in fit the into to the into uh, this one category. The, the of course, there might be projects or teams uh, or uh, individuals together, that wouldn't be able to, to contribute to too much. That, um, but it's not about how much, uh, but it's about the, the quality that goes like into that the into, collaboration. Into, uh, this one category, and uh, then yeah, in the next phase, there, there would be another category added until all categories would be there. And then the contraction phase would start again. And um, we would remove categories and focus on iteration, and, uh, on um, changing a bit, uh, and changing. Uh, you can change the most when there's the most contraction, when there's focus on only one category. And in the screenshot, uh, the, the lowest category that's the point of most contraction is always the same, but ideally, obviously, this uh, changes. So it's not human interaction protocols or uh, community or, or education governance category, but also the other categories. Yeah, that's what I want to add, throw into the pot there. And um, I'm going to step down as a speaker because I'm, um, I'm, I'm having a bit of kids now. But I'll be listening in, and um, I'm very happy yeah. for this conversation and the uh, value and insights and energies and, um, everybody brings. And um, yeah, grateful that you're all here and listening. Um, Thanks. I'm, I'm having dinner with the kids now. But I'll be listening in and um, thank you, Mercury, and, and uh, sending regards to your family and apologies for keeping you away from from your family duties. So thank you for coming by. No, no, not at all, not at all, not at all. That's, that's absolutely fine. You say hi to the kids, though. I will. I will. Thank you, Mercury, and uh, oh, hi, sending regards to your family and apologies that we're keeping you away from your family duties. I think the concept itself is very appealing and interesting, and I think it could be something that could be discussed during the upcoming workshop for Mercury's. Thing, <laughs> what those uh, subcategories could look awesome. like that have a, its own life cycle? I, I is this where it could be the most relevant? I think, um, I think that's what uh, jumps at me immediately when I'm looking at the picture and uh, seeing like how we have the contraction the and contraction and like how the waves go through it and what, what that allows you to go through these different iterations. So maybe that could be also an opportunity there to consider. So once the workshops are running, I would absolutely love for this to be brought forward and be a point of the topic where there could be one of the ways how we could be thinking about the subcategories. Goes through it so and that, what that allows you to go through these different iterations. So yeah, maybe I, I think, could be I think also it's, an opportunity there to consider. So once the workshops are running, are, I would absolutely love for these to be brought forward and, and be a point of a topic. Really whether there, there could be one of the ways how we can be thinking about the subcategories or things of that. Um, Chris? Yeah, I mean, I think it's, 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 it's an important point that there are so this there are process of, of going through this collaboration that uh, we have a good handle on yet, or maybe they've just not been. Uh, yeah, we can they've been supported you know, through, the, through the vote the, so the, much the in terms of you know, the specific domain of focuses. And so through this process of, of this, going through this collaboration be, uh, be really, uh, where we can converge on and what are the scopes, you know, we can bottom out, you know, what are. The, the, the reasonable the subcategories that, that you would expect to see within a particular category. This, you know, again, to be, be really, um, uh, to, you know, to look at it like this, that it's, it, that's part of the process of, the, of getting a good tagging structure together as well, right? Like then if we've got a good understanding of what are the different sorts of cat subcategories that will sit within a category, then those, those subcategories are effectively the tags and they become really easy for people just to sort of follow and find out where, they, 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 they need to align with or where they want to align with. Um, I like the idea of the expansion and contraction. Just wonder at where, at what point is, uh, at what point is the big bang, right? And um, at what point do we, do we uh, need to, to come back from the big bang? Yeah, that's a good thought. Lido, your hand must be hurting like hell. Like you're strong <laughs> as a cop. What's up? Oh man, she you have no idea. Um, so these workshops, not workshops, but these, these discussions around the different parcels of changes that are coming are great. Um, there is some feedback from the community about that looks like we're hurling towards a year now since the last fund, um, and what the harm in in doing that and is there any value to fixing the plane while it's flying versus letting the thing down for so long it's a good point it's a really good point i mean it, we're, we're coming up to what, six months since fund nine 
uh, ended. So yeah, it's it seems high time that we need to move forward. And uh, yeah, we're, we're we're certainly super excited to be be discussing all these proposed uh, all these proposals for change. But ultimately, it needs to come down to you guys as to you know what direction of travel do you want to take it in, and um, and that that's going to come really really soon. Um, but yeah, just be a bit, a little bit, a little bit more patience. Just a little bit more patience. We've got a great presentation from um, our lead architect next week on town hall, and um, we're going to start unpacking all of this uh, open source approach. And so hopefully that's going to give everybody a lot of confidence that um, things are heading in the right direction. But you know, as I said, ultimately it's got to come down to. Um, which direction the travel is it? I see everybody on the team and then also broadly is very keenly aware Absolutely. of. Absolutely, and I'll just preface this with the fact that worse, every single decision has been taken or a direction of like what the uh, and when to do does, was uh, extremely mean, heavily um, weighted against uh, you could all the trade offs. I think nine everybody on the team uh, and then also broadly is very keenly aware of. For better or for worse, Cataways has been the only source of the fossil fuels plugged into the Cardano treasury and it does happen so that. We you could almost say that at a certain point, the, running nine together, funds in a row uh, has caused us collectively to be a bit of a victim of our own success. And essentially, that meant that that break was uh, long overdue to make sure that we can actually reshuffle so that we don't end halting altogether, but it, actually looking forward, how can we reshuffle the pieces so that the program itself can actually function for another 10 rounds and what they could look like. And unfortunately, how the framework and everything has been set up because we were so collectively busy of running back-to-back -back funds that it hasn't had that opportunity to actually slow down, consider all the things that are happening in some very sensible way and being able to implement. So we've been flying that plane collectively for far too long without having a, a pit stop. And, um, you know, it, it uh, weighted on us heavily in, in, and I'd be lying to say that we wouldn't want to launch, uh, you know, every day of the past days that we've been on break. But as Chris said, we're, we're very close. We're getting there. Obviously, that's uh, we talked a couple of weeks ago when we introduced the concept of the special voting event. So a lot of these changes which are coming in, they will need to be validated in a form of a special voting uh, that will take place. So if you haven't registered in the past for Project Catalyst, I do encourage you in any of the voting interfaces for the wallets, which are currently in the community and they enable it, I do encourage you to create a QR code, save the pin code, it might just be that this might be the last vote that we use the QR and PIN code as the only source of actually interfacing with Catalyst to the, the comment of the other gentleman who was uh, asking for the DAP connectivity. So we're all looking forward to see how we can transition then in front end, uh, just plug and play with your wallets. So if you want to experience one more retro vote with your QR and the PIN code, um, definitely the register. If you have your old ones, dust them up just to see if they're still available. And soon enough, we'll be uh, sharing more information on on the content of DSV and what that means. And that's basically a key milestone that will determine what and how the fund 10 will come uh, forward. So we're very close to it and uh, hopefully uh, we'll be able to share more on that soon. And uh, if, whose hand was that, Emmanuel or Q? Q, was it you? I don't, I'm, I don't know. I'm going to be very, <laughs> very direct and honest with what I have to say. So if anybody's got something positive or cheery let them go first or they should go after me let's hear it q um okay i'm gonna to try to make this positive um but that's not going to be i don't think um the last time we saw a big delay was uh fund four and that that cycled into a massive fund six which put everything out of control to even understand what the changes we made in fund seven with the introduction of challenge teams and the 26 proposals. Um, you know, we, we as a community or as a network of people participating in this innovation fund, we had no idea what to do as challenge teams or with fund seven. And that's an effect from fund four. We're in between fund nine and 10, and we're just now seeing that the challenge teams from uh, November, 2021 uh, have kind of, you know, done what they've done. And we see that we need to pivot on that. 
um, if we don't look at this delay and look at the changes that we're considering and also looking at us as a network, uh, the network effect and seeing how other roles and other, um, how every other single process, uh, person, actor, stage is affected by something then we're going to just go through a fun 10 that's going to make me really sad. Um, and I don't like being sad. I, I hope we are going to get a chance to rewrite the fun 10 challenges and create new parameters around those challenges and that be the voting event. Um, I hope I'm not hearing that challenge teams are being um, removed for a community reviewer based on the information that was provided on the challenge category because i don't trust the data in that and even if i did trust it the changes aren't appropriate to 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 address um what we're looking at on top of d reps and I don't know if you heard about it, but my buddy Voltaire, he's here. Day one of Voltaire came in Scott Fest, SIP 1694 is here and it's huge. How do we change from a um, the mirror transaction, the move instantaneous uh, reward from the treasury to what's next if we're not using the Voltaire incentivized test net to actually work on the roadmap to Voltaire SIP 1694, then we're fooling ourselves by not saying, hey, why are we both looking in different directions and wondering why we can't see each other? So is this the Voltaire incentivized test net? Why do we need a new test net that's not incentivized for SIP 1694 and I'm I'm speechless um no, let, let, yeah let, I got something in my throat let me maybe, maybe try and pick up on a couple of those points um Kaiser because you do raise some really really um important valid um points that we need to to sort of unpack so the Voltaire test, incentivized test net I'm sure most people know here but it, it, for, for those that don't is the infrastructure that uh, supports catalysts. So the Ormangand side chain is what the ITN and, and, and the IT really, really was. Um, so the the, the current uh, architecture, the current the, the the current side chain that we're we're using for catalyst is that um, is what was called the Vol Voltaire incentivized testnet, and that's you know a legacy artifact of this idea that catalyst was a proto governance uh, system. Um, but you know, the, it's really important to be able to distinguish what Voltaire is and what uh, Catalyst is, and how they delineate. And you know, Ca Catalyst really is an innovation grants engine, right? So we need, that's, we need to that, be that's really careful line not to uh, everything to that first is, of all throw the baby uh, out outside of uh, in my innovation opinion, grants. Um, and and be, be conscious that uh, we've got a in, really in good um, so that's quite, anyway. infrastructure um, that's able to, so to, we to need, service we need to be really the volume not to, of uh, uh, votes that are kind of coming through on the, the, the decisions that need to be made least, for catalyst proposals. Um, and, and be, be conscious uh, that we've got now, a really don't wrong, good there's a lot of work um, that's going on, on so under the infrastructure that's able to to service the volume of votes that are kind of coming through on the the decisions that need to be made for catalyst proposals. Um, now, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of work that's going on, on under the hood. Um, Mike can sort of speak to this, I'm sure, uh, as will, will Stephen next week um, on, you know, potential directions and how, um, you know, maybe there's, there's con what considerations there are for, for main chain in the context of Catalyst. And, um, and yeah, so I'll, I'll let, let um, Steve unpack it next week. And if Mike wants to say anything now, then great. Um, but, you know, on the point of sort of challenge teams, like I think if, if we're going to be moving into this world of categories, then the, 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 the naming of challenge teams needs to be addressed. But the role that challenge teams play will also evolve. And, and where there seems to be the biggest gap currently is around 
helping to, to verify that teams, the funder teams have done what they said they were going to do. And, uh, and then to be able to draw and infer insights out of that. Now, where I can see there being another opportunity for maybe a new role to be created or some sort of other, uh, other sets of um, work to be done um, within the community and, and, and a role to be played is around, you know, sense checking the work, uh, uh, you know, in aggregate or that's coming in within the categories. Like if, if one category, say products and integrations, had 300 different projects in it, well, that's, that's quite a big undertaking for a small challenge team to be able to, to make sense of. So maybe it needs to become more distributed. And maybe, you know, right, maybe we, we, we're, we're wedded to this, this name of challenge teams, but it's the role that's important and the function that it plays. Um, so, you know, I, I don't want us to necessarily be wedded to names. Um, I think that there's, there's, you know, there's a risk there that we get entrenched. Um, but it's the, the function that these, that you guys in the community and the role that you've been playing, uh, Q, in, in, in helping with proof of achievement and on challenge teams and, you know, across everything that, that you do and for anybody else that's doing um, many multifaceted uh, things within the, 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 the Catalyst ecosystem. Um, I think it's important just to sort of focus in on the roles that need to be, be um, and the functions that need to be, be, be accomplished. And then we can think about, you know, um, where there's gaps and what else needs to be filled. And, you know, in time, we'll be able to talk about, you know, how, how does that how does that work then get compensated and incentivized? And, you know, there, there should be a role. Uh, if, if you're going to be doing work, it should be incentivized, fairly speak, uh, you know, fairly, fairly candidly. I'll leave it there. I hope that wasn't too much of a, um, a convoluted way of trying to respond to, to that, but ho hopefully it, it gives some sort of with, directions. With that answer, I am I am voting for you for the Constitutional Committee, sir. <laughs> like you belong on there, and I'm going to get you two seats on there. Um, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> Man, I found a button cue. <laughs> well, I mean, so for, if anybody knows or doesn't know i'm from south carolina and i'm a big fan of the south carolina gamecocks so the, if that rooster hits i feel like it's saturday morning college game day and I, <laughs> I it's like a dog you know blowing a whistle or a car so it really freaks me out um but i love it that's that's cockadoodle do uh the names are, aren't uh, important to me and although i adamantly spoke out against community advisor the names aren't important until they are. Community advisor was the wrong name. Challenge team was not doing the role of that we thought. So I'm a, I'm a big fan of allowing the role to, you know, to name itself, you know, community advisor. It took a year. I took a lot of heat. A lot of people did not like me because they thought I was being semantical. But the truth is, that's not an advisor, a challenge team. I don't know, but I mean, I submitted a problem sensing thing. All of my best ideas come come in and problem sensing. Uh, that's how bad I am at Catalyst. But talking about campaign sponsor, campaign advisor, uh, and challenge team, you know, there's other roles that 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 can do this. So a challenge team can't onboard and then audit, you know, six months after, and and in the parameters pilot. Um, can can we run the parameters pilot for this SVE? Can we run our own SVEs up until IOG is ready uh, and base it on that parameters pilot and the, the roles that are needed and potential changes of compensation or incentives and how they're based on? So, so look at it like this. Um, if we are going to be moving forward with categories, I think that gives a really, really good opportunity for the parameters pilot to be part of that. As in, you know, where the categories need, the scopes need to be decided, the budget weights um, need to be decided. Um, you know, as, as part of Fund 10, the information that's gonna be coming out really, really soon, we'll publish all of the parameters that, that are, are currently set for Fund 10, or proposed for Fund 10 at least. And um, th that will be the first time that we would have published the parameters um, before running the fund, right, uh, in, in, in their entirety. In Fund 9, we posted them post factum to, to Circle. Um, so, yeah, I would certainly see, you know, the, 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 the period between Fund 10 launch 
and then Fund 11 launch as super important to be able to come together as a community and figure out the parameters that we want to run with in Fund 11. But we need to take into account that Fund 9's already been voted on. So to come back to your point uh, earlier on, um, th those challenges, you know, th those were proposed and then voted for by the community. So to, to then have a do over on that and then. No, yeah. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. but, but I know, I, I know 11, what you mean completely. For Fund 11, but we've got, you know, they've been changed before. We've, we've got a, we've got a, um, a step change moment which puts the the, uh, the power of setting the parameters um you know largely into the hands of the community to 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 decide upon them how uh, how they're, they're constructed right right but so the uh, challenge setting proposals have been changed before the next fund without the consent of the community some people have discussed it but you know when we combined DAPS products and integrations, you know, to that 7.8 uh, challenge, those were two separate proposals to begin with. So this has been done and I'm, 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 I'm saying this to myself as confirmation, we can do it again, unless you've already created these parameters. And I think the community is ready to get engaged to see what those parameters are, not changing any of the challenges, keeping them as they are, but overlaying categories as your labels or tags and i spent my uh, career in insurance which, which is based on categories and classifications of businesses of risk of everything and when you go to categories you just go to oh this is everything that's ever happened um, and will happen from the beginning of time to the end of time it's not the solution um that that we think it is it helps with auditing and it can be inserted now before you know the before the the um fund begins that way we know what we're monitoring and we know what proposals are looking to do and and the community reviewers slash challenge team slash auditors are all on the same page before like if we're if, if every um person that would fill any role in the network isn't completely up to speed but on day one of insight sharing then we've done ourselves a disservice we've done cardano a disservice well cues those are really fair points broadly speaking but i think we also need to recognize that we need to create sort of a stepped transition period and unboxing everything all at once would make it very challenging to make uh, to make everybody have that shared understanding of like what is it that we need to get to the first next uh, next steps and the next weeks and months essentially will be charting the pathway of the transition towards the next stage uh ultimately of the project catalyst so uh, mm -hmm. I, I think to you're clear. gonna find it exciting <laughs> but q i know we've been back and forth with chris i want to give a hand <laughs> and i am really thankful emmanuel that you got your hand up but i'll yield to you now but thank you q yeah, you know, the changes that are coming in, and then if we don't do something now, then it's all for nothing is my point. But thank you, guys. Cheers, Q. Emmanuel, your hand up. If you remember yeah, what you wanted to talk about. <laughs> it's been a yeah, while. Yeah, it's kind of been lingering. Yeah, it's, it's been lingering. Um, but just to go back to a few things I said uh, maybe a little over 15 minutes ago. Um, one, I do, I've always advocated for longer intervals between um, catalyst periods. Um, that way people are able to reorganize, reassess, and have enough time because normally the time difference was usually, um, I believe, two to three weeks until the next um, round begun so, or would begin. So um, seeing a six-month gap is definitely um, something that I am pleased with, if anything, but then also it's not a six month gap because there was a six month gap. It's because they had to do some renovations. Um, but then to see if, if we're to gain a gap system of like two to three months um, in between every fund and round, I think that's very valuable. It helps team to organize them, teams to organize themselves and uh, learn from past experiences properly without just jumping from one hot pan into another. Um, so hopefully that can be normalized. Um, I'll keep advocating for that level of latency um, in, in capital sessions. Um, the other thing as well is there was a talk around um, ambiguity to set in a challenge settings. And 
it's a key point to know that, um, especially in the event in, in the period when we had the Great Migration from Ethereum, we also had the cross change, uh, cross chain challenge team, and it was important to make things clear. As in, cross chain was meant for interactions that would involve, um, well, cross chain relations, such as interactions between Cardano and Polkadot, so Cardano and Neil, Cardano and other things. Things that would involve bridges. Things that would involve DApps on other ecosystems horizontally scaling into the Cardano ecosystem. That's what um, cross-chain challenges were mainly focused on. And the great migration from Ethereum was specifically focused on Ethereum. It was specifically focused on bringing um, dApps and experiences and other forms of, you know, platforms um, from the Ethereum ecosystem to um, Cardano. I did the heavy work of running around Aave forums, running around Uniswap forums, trying to advocate for these things and well lo and behold you don't just get rv or uniswap to move or deploy a version of cardano you need to have like <laughs> 25 million uni um standing by to to do all of that and these are things that um catalyst isn't exactly designed for but to 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 speak on the ambiguity part the onus was on every and is on every challenge team to make sure that their challenge setting is not ambiguous so to those who may have found things ambiguous this is why we had forums. We, I can speak for the Green Migration. We had a dedicated Discord. We had a dedicated um, Telegram for people to come in, to reach out, and have these interactions to get the clarity they needed. Um, so just to clarify on um, what might have seemed ambiguous but practically wasn't. Um, and also to take a look at Catalyst, there's, there's, this, um, there's this misunderstanding, I, I would say, I've observed where folks consider capitalist as a certain um as the card honor treasury or as the card honor reserve system when in technicality capitalist is just an application it's just one dap there can be ten thousand daps much like capitalist tomorrow and there can be no capitalist tomorrow um and so it's important chris chris of chris and uh danny uh, carefully mentioned these delineations a few moments ago, but it's important to realize that capitalist is not the end all be all. If tomorrow it turns out that AI is a huge part of, I don't know, crypto, there can be a different funding engine um, that can be powered by the treasury to tackle that. If there is something like that for NFTs, much like so can be done. And so that's something to keep in mind for people when they look at capitalist. Capitalist at, at its core is simply a grand system. And someone asked uh, how people should react when they don't get funded or anything. At the end, any competent business, any competent endeavor, any competent startup knows that they don't just put their eggs in one basket. They know that they should have a recovery process. They should have um, a set of steps to take in. Someone has a hot mic. Um, Rodrigo, I think that's you. Um, yeah, good. There's a process you, you should have in place for yourself and your team to react should you not get the grants. In the, in the traditional startup space, um, you don't just um, send requests to VCs and get rejected and say that's it. No, you need to be prepared for when the VC says no. Capitalist is no, is no difference over there. And most importantly, a lot of people tend to utilize capitalists as their, as their lifeline, as, their, as, as their, some would call it your corporate uh, welfare program when capitalist is not that. Capitalist cannot sustainably be that if it wants to support 10,000 um, startups and projects in Cardano. So it's important to know when you need a grant and to know when you need external funding and to know when you should be generating revenue. Um, these are the kind of conversations that we need to have more of. And observably, we don't have enough um, professionals and individuals with that institutional perspective in the Cardano ecosystem compared to that in Ethereum or Solana to have these conversations. And that's why these other ecosystems um, arguably excel better in um, these other genres. So I see Fund 11 as a great opportunity to redefine how we approach grant funding, to redefine how we approach, um, what was the name? Ecosystem development as a whole. Um, and it's, it's not a one switch to flip to get it done. That's why we have in these spaces and power to Chris and Danny and the Catalyst team, like, for making the time to do these to, to to make these spaces and have these conversations with the community, and the conversation doesn't start and stop here. These things happen 
on Zoom. They happen on the town halls. There are different communities that meet up every day from Cardano, from Cardano women, um, that's women and capitalists, to um, projects focused on ESG goals, projects that focus on ecosystem goals. They are littered all across the ecosystem. And what we don't have are the quote unquote influencers highlighting these things more. And that's what needs to change. Um, if that doesn't change, you're going to get the same old box of people and bubble of people who say, oh, capitalist is dysfunctional, capitalist doesn't work, people are not doing this, the CF isn't working, IO is not working. If you are not aware of these things, you would never know and you just chase your tail in that process. So it's important that um, we hold our influencers, quote unquote influencers or so-called influencers to a higher standard. Um, in a nutshell, to put a, thin, a pin on things, we need to wake up and be serious. Um, and that's what separates the, the successful people from the non-successful people. Um, and yeah, that's, uh, that's the pin right there. Thank you, Manuel. Thank you so much for all these uh, different perspectives. I hope everybody listening in was able to pick up on a few of those notes in there. Um, very, very much grateful for your time as well, equally. It, it's not just us being here, but it also works both ways. So we appreciate everybody who's been able to listen in through this space. Equally so, uh, I'm going to start, you know, uh, closing down the space. So we're going to, we have one more hand up. No, you're not, Danny. Keep going. All wait day, a minute, all wait a minute, wait a minute. Where is it? <laughs> is it that weekend yet? <laughs> Uh, Neil, uh, off you go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, my journey with Catalyst started uh, September 2020 with uh, the first town hall with Door, and I think in Fund Three, three the um, distributed decision making challenge was launched, which died like in Fund Four because people simply didn't get it. Um, me and Ro were proponents of the distributed decision-making approach, and I think it's the only way to make Catalyst work, to be honest. If you look at uh, the Social Design Academy profile, you can see the balloon challenge, and I will shortly uh, tell this balloon challenge just to uh, give you guys an idea what the difference is between what I call centralized decision-making, which we are doing today, and distributed decision making and I don't even make a mention of decentralized decision making. So let's imagine we have a teacher with a hundred children uh, and there is a hallway and the, the teacher has like a hundred balloons and these hundred balloons are given to the children and the teacher says then write your name on the balloon blow it up and throw it into the hallway. Next the teacher says so the whole uh, hallway is full with balloons now the teacher says uh, try and find your balloon. So the, the, the children run through the hallway, try to find the balloon, and nobody can find their balloon. So everybody back in the classroom, and the teacher says, now if you see a balloon with a name of somebody you know, give that person that balloon. And all of a sudden, in five minutes, everybody had their balloon. And that's the difference between centralized decision-making and distributed decision-making. And we can only achieve these systems if we put software design at the center of Catalyst. And everything else is human space governance and we need digital space governance. And I'm more than happy to share my design research I did for the last two years. I feel sometimes like an alien in this space because I have such a different view on what we should do. And I can mention a couple of things I came across in the design research. And that's, for example, that if you use human-centered design, you silo people into groups. Uh, Ford, Fjord Trend Research uh, did a paper that you shouldn't silo people into groups because it blocks collaboration. Uh, another area is um, the inward perspective. In Catalyst, we, we only look inwards. If you want to legitimize Cardano, you have to look outwards in the world and fix real world problems and then you legitimize Cardano. Well, these are, are some of the things I would like to bring forward to start designing distributed decision-making software because otherwise uh, we, we need to speed up the innovation in digital governance because otherwise 
in one year we are having the same discussion. Thank you. Thank you, Neil. And I think those are really great uh, thoughts to close down the space upon. Thank you for coming in today. Um, Hopefully we can uh, connect more on, on these topics going forward. I think it was a Emmanuel or somebody else also mentioned that the conversation doesn't stop when this Twitter space stops. I do encourage everyone to start con to continue and uh, take this into other Twitter spaces and maybe just reach out, whether it's via DMs, uh, get together, spin up on Twitter spaces, get in, get together in real life, uh, go to local Cardano summit or a local Cardano meetup. Um, if you have the opportunity or join any of the number of the Zoom calls and all the other instances which are happening around the ecosystem, because it's uh, far too easy to be comfortable sitting in our own chairs and our own bubbles, and then just, you know, equally so throwing potatoes on uh, in the Twitter space when we might be actually much more closer if we were to take a bit more time to get to know each other. So hopefully this was a good space in that regards today. I really, really appreciate everybody's time that was able to come by here today because, uh, you know, uh, you didn't have to be here. So thank you so much. Um, just as a recap, we did start this Twitter space as a follow up from the town hall earlier today. Uh, the, the, uh, you know, the town hall itself that took place on Wednesday, and uh, we namely talked about the topics about the challenge setting changes uh, heading towards the fund 10. So if you wanted to review the Twitter space in itself and maybe just get the TLDR on what the key topic in the beginning of the space was, there is one of the early first tweets, which is pinned the top, uh, should give you a high overview of what those uh, changes for challenge setting is and how they're going about, including the last week's Twitter space and topic that we talk about the community review. And hopefully we'll be back next week. And uh, uh, we also then diverged to a couple of other topics. I mean, we talked at length about the NFTs, uh, silos in communities, you know, how to build bridges, how to get involved, things about cooldown periods, tagging, rhythms, funding sources, so many different topics. And that's what makes these AMAs quite exciting. So hopefully, We'll be back next week. Um, Chris, did you want to say uh, any last words before we clock out? Yeah, I, you know, once again, just thanks for everybody's contributions and uh, an active listening, really. It's it's a two-way conversation. It's not a, uh, it shouldn't be about pushing information onto people or, or you know, uh, as, as was lovingly said earlier, uh, I think by, by someone else um, in the week, you know, having all these changes shoved down our throats. That's never what it's about meant to be about. This is about trying to identify where there are opportunities to improve and, and taking the time. And, uh, you know, it, it does take time to be able to come up with solutions. And, um, you know, we do need to be, be, be conscious that, you know, we are trying to land a really big plane whilst trying to build the runway. And so, you know, we need to be conscious and, and, and careful about the changes and choices that we make when we make change. Um, I, I want to call out, I believe, where, I mean, with Danny and I and the, the rest of the Catalyst team are really happy to continue running these Twitter spaces regularly. And um, I believe we're going to also start um, collaborating with the rest of the community team within um, within IO and Cardano to, to maybe bring um, new community voices or new uh, other sorts of people's um, perspectives that maybe aren't are participating in Catalyst so much, but a very, very much um, an important um, set of stakeholders for Cardano. So yeah, keep an eye out for um, announcements coming from Ben O'Hanlon, and um, and and I'm looking forward to to being back here next time, talking through um, all manner of machinations of everything Catalysts with you very soon. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody. Really appreciate every single one of you. That's a wrap. And in the spirit of collaboration, check your check your DM, Congo. <laughs> and in collaboration and NFTs, check out Disco Solaris. We want to hold a a, a parallel micro uh, project catalyst, a disc catalyst, not to disc catalyst, but to distribute catalyst and responsibility, and to distribute what fun it is to be.